I'm Tim Down, and I'm going to be reading an extract from my new book, How to Be a Husband. This one is about marriage and change. I am, in so very many ways, not the man my wife married. To present just one small example, I am, at the time of writing, wearing a beard. Not a false one, it's attached. For almost 20 years, my wife knew me as a clean-shaven man. Well, not entirely. There have certainly been times in my life where I've lost the will to shave, mornings when I've looked in the bathroom mirror, razor in hand, and said to myself, have you got a bail hearing today? No? Then what are we doing here? But I always shave for parties and photographs, and I never let it slide for more than a week, because I didn't want to end up with a beard. The beard, along with the hat and the bow tie, was for most of my lifetime filed under the generic style heading, no. Beards, as far as I was concerned, were for lumberjacks and castaways. I couldn't conceive of a beard being a positive attribute. I had what I thought were strong, if ill-defined, objections to facial hair. Whenever I saw a man who appeared to be sporting some intentionally, I would think, what could possibly be wrong with your face that's worse than a beard? Then one day, about two years ago, I grew one. I don't recall making an actual decision, but that's the great thing about a beard. It just happens by itself. It's the product of something you're not doing, the point where sloth meets affectation, the sweet spot I've been searching for all my life. Although it hardly counts as an achievement, the beard nevertheless became a talking point. Hey, nice beard, friends would say, as if I'd knitted it. I really could not have done less to earn people's interest in me, or the subsequent polarization of opinion. I soon became aware of a section of the female population that doesn't like beards at all. But also of another section that will treat you as if you have a cute puppy strapped to your chin. I realized that I didn't know whether my wife fell into either of these categories. So taken was I with my new image, indeed with having an image at all, that I forgot to consult the one person who mattered. I was more than a month in when I finally said to my wife, so do you um, like the beard? She appraised my face as if the question had not yet occurred to her, as if this were the first time she'd actually noticed anything was different. I don't mind the beard, she said. She looked at me again, as if perhaps she'd spoken too soon, but then she walked away without adding anything. And that was it. Another odd change accommodated, folded into the marriage without protest or ceremony. A few mums netters have put questions uh, directly to my wife, and these are her answers. Are you as fabulously spiky as you appear to be in the columns? My wife's just written, yes.